by uh, using x i j equal to u i transpose u j uh, now 2 is is now in the form of stp which is maximum of 1 minus x i j over 2 x i i from 1 to n and uh, x is a positive semi-definite matrix you know that this x i i i mean u i and u i so this is this is one so x is equal to it's a gramian matrix i mean machine learning guys know u1 u2 u1 uj u1 u uj and here u i u j and also it goes like this u i u1 so it's a Gramian matrix and since x is equal to u transpose u and u are just for example u1 u2 so u transpose u is it is positive definite why because because y transpose x y should be positive for any vector so we can write it as y transpose what is x x is u transpose u so it becomes u transpose u y and this is u y transpose so this is greater than zero and just observe observe that every solution of three is a solution of two with the same value also every solution of two is a solution of three with the same value so when i say stp and you want to maximize cij xij inj from one to n such that aijk xij becomes bk for k from one to m when to maximize it, it means you, you want to maximize c dot x. I mean, you write it as, this means trace of c transpose x. Uh, such that a dot x, again, I mean trace of a transpose x. So a transpose x is equal to b. So this is the same thing, I mean, the generalization. So STP is generalization of LP. What is LP? You want to maximize just CI, XI, such, such that AX is less than B and X greater than zero. So if everything is diagonal, CX, everything is diagonal, so you get LP. So STP is much harder than LP. And I want to say that a very interesting things, as you know, uh, Coates, uh, this guy, Coates, he invented unique game conjecture, unique games conjecture. And using that unique game conjecture, we can say that it is NP hard to achieve better approximation guarantee than SOS for, for a class of worst case discrete optimization problem. And you should read uh, papers of Raghavendra, this Indian guy who got a prize in computer science with David Stoyer, and also James Lee Berkeley, and also Cut, who invented unique conjecture. So the SOS algorithm SOS algorithm, you want to find best decomposition efficiently. So you have your global high dimensional optimization, and like f of x is 3, 2, minus 1, h, x minus 1 squared, minus x minus 1 squared, x plus 1 squared. So you want, for example, you have lots of minima, and here, at point one, you have, for example, a global maximum. 
and the polynomial optimization over hypercube is important for graph theory because in a hype I'll remind you that it is I'm just talking about hypercube and uh, for max cut for max cut the problems becomes maximum fg of x is so by definition we call it xi minus xj squared so this is your polynomial this is your polynomial fg of x so it is as you see it has degree 2 polynomial also mean sd cut is very natural in this framework because you just write minimum of fg of x but uh, you you put you put x s x s equal to 0 in this polynomial and you put x t equal to for target you put x t equal to 1 in this polynomial and uh, of course all of them are discrete and here for example is x in 0 and 1 n so let's use sos proofs to bound optimal values so by definition we say that f and g from to r inequality f less than g has degree l sos proof and we denote it by this f is less than g if g minus f could be sos plus hr squared for some uh, h1 hr and of course degree of hi should be less than l over 2 degree of hi degree degree of hi each of them should be less than l l over 2 and given f and g sos algorithm finds finds degree l sos proof in time n to the order of l for example for example in max cut which we love is that f of g your polynomial is if you approximate it with that goemans williamson if you remember it was 0.878 factor and it was the best factor that we know so it's a constant function on hypercube again for mean cut for mean cut it is uh, fg if you just uh, x uh, source is zero and put xt equal to one in this polynomial it should be greater than or equal to minimum of fg xs is uh, zero and xt is one and if you want to be more ambitious you say that for a general problem you can say uh, f is less than maximum of f for even it should be even degree even degree 2 uh, I should I should talk about uh, finding SOS proofs but uh, those things are related to some kind of tensors and uh, you know Il Hilbert 17's problem was that does there exist polynomials PR qr such that you can use f of x your polynomial to be something like these fractional things p2x squared q2 squared plus like this and somebody called uh, mr artin said yes 
And so we can also write your uh, polynomials as a sum of some fractions. Uh, the thing about the thing I like about David Stoyer that uh, of course got a prize from computer science together with Raghavandra, I think, uh, is that he introduces several natural problems in graph theory in terms of these SOS, and we understand why understanding those polynomials, those Boolean polynomials, plays an important role. For example, if you have a cut goes from plus one to minus one, so your first you have a function from uh, a, a hypercube. I know hypercube is <coughs> you have for any n you have two to the n vertices. For example, if n is equal to two, you have a square. If n equal to 3, it becomes cube. So each time it doubles vertices in a hypercube. So you got squares and then you get, you go higher dimensions. And uh, if uh, g of x is, uh, so it counts the number of edges that for any edge in E, a, which is, xi is, is not equal to j, uh, a multilinear polynomial can be written as c alpha psi of i alpha xi. I will not talk about uh, Gunther's, but uh, this is just x alpha Fourier character. We call it Fourier character. So in two, in two variables, we say that, for example, f of x becomes a0,0 plus a10x plus a01y, a11xy. So it becomes like 1x and then a matrix, a10, a11, 1y. So this is an example. So a fact is that these uh, Fourier bases, I mean x alpha such that alpha is n, is a basis of... So studying Boolean functions and analysis of that is very important for graph theory. So is a basis of f from n to r. And orthonormal with respect to, you can define this inner product in this space of uh, Boolean functions. Expectation of f of x, g of x. And by definition, degree of f is maximum of uh, that alpha such that f alpha is not zero. Uh, again, another fact I should say that dimension function a uh, dimension of function f is n choose two uh, n choose d less than n to the order of your d. For example, fg of x, your polynomial can be written as ij one fourth xi minus xj squared e of g minus one over two x i j.
Now I want to talk about uh, Carthodori theorem and how it is related to this. You know, in Carthodori theorem, if a point in R D lies in a convex hull of a set P, then X can be written as a convex combination of at most D plus one points. And uh, the claim is that degree of degree SOS of F is less than equal to D, then we can say n to the order of D functions are enough uh, to span that. For example, you have some cones, you have some rays, some rays going to the origin, and some of these n to the order of D functions are enough to represent this or spans this, uh, all of the functions. Another claim is that f is uh, greater than zero, then degree of degree SOS of f is less than or equal to 2n. Uh, we can talk about edge connectivity. Of course, you know, Menger theorem is all about edge connectivity and those disjoint path and those things. So, for example, you want to go from S to T. For example, I is here and J is here. And here is one, minus one, this is plus one. And your functions that you want to minimize, you want to say that you want to count, for example, f of x, you want to count the number of uh, these disjoint paths. So this is xi. It means that in this polynomial, uh, it is a multiplication of everything except xi because xi is zero. So xi should not be there. Instead of that, xi minus one and xy, xi plus one should be in there. So, um, so this plus also xi should not be xj in your polynomials. For example, here, is one fourth of xi minus xj squared. It means this. And also you should count all jt in E. Here from source to i is in E. Now from j to target, your xj should not be minus one. So if uh, f is uh, greater than k, if and if, ST connectivity is greater than K. And uh, also F greater than K if and if degree SOS of F minus K is less than or equal to four. So you are counting the disjoint paths from S to T. You are counting the connectivity, edge connectivity. And the proof is just, you just use Menger theorem. And uh, the, you know that connectivity is greater than K, it means that there exists K edge disjoint pass. Uh, P1, PK, from S to T. For example, one path is like this, go to T. So from going from S to T, this is a path. One, two, three. So you can count uh, the number of disjoint path going from S to T. Uh, 